external, ladies and gentlemen. Blues music relies heavily on the pentatonic scale. Since we're playing in the key of E, let's learn the E minor pentatonic scale. Now we'll use two fingers to play blues guitar. The E minor pentatonic scale starts on the sixth string open to the third fret played with the middle finger. Next is the fifth string open to the second fret with the index finger. Then the fourth string open to the second fret with the index finger. The notes are named E, G, A, B, D, and a higher octave E note. Each note is held for two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the octave E rings out for another four beats. In blues music, the scale can be considered the foundation for a song. Each note will complement the next, and it can be used as a melody line for the vocal or for an instrument like the lead guitar. Each scale note can also be used in a song as a chord. Let's take our blues rhythm and add scale notes to create power chords. For the E rhythm, we'll start out on the open fifth string A by adding the 4th string 2nd fret, we now have an A5 power chord. While holding this chord, strike the 5th and 4th strings together. Next, we are going to play a single G note with the middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret and end on an E5 power chord. That's a 6th string open fifth string second fret. One and a two, three, four. 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 Now let's play the E minor pentatonic scale a little faster. Let each note ring out for one beat. One, two, three, four, one, two. We're also going to add the third string notes. First open, then second fret with the index finger. The third string open is a higher octave G note, and the third string second fret is a higher octave A note. The third string scale notes allow us to add our A rhythm, starting with the fourth string open, D, by adding the third string second fret, we have a D5 power chord. Next is the fifth string third fret C note by itself, and end on the open A5 power chord. Let's combine the A5 and E5 rhythms.
We are going to introduce the string bend technique to our fretted scale notes. We're going to start off with an easy bend that only requires minimal effort. For each fretted note, keep pressure on the string while you pull towards the center of the fretboard. You can do this by bending your finger inward or you can rotate your wrist. Either way, you need to keep pressure on the string, holding it against the fretboard as you bend. A half step on a guitar is equal to one fret, so a half step bend would require a lot more finger strength. This is called a quarter step bend or a note smear because you are not required to bend it up to the next note or next fret. Here we will apply the note smear or quarter bend to our blues rhythm. And we'll also loop the end chord. To do this, you have a choice of laying your fretboard hand over the strings to silence them. Or you could use your picking hand to silence the strings. We are also using the repeat symbol for the first time, signaling us to repeat the previous measure. Let's complete our open E pentatonic scale by adding the second and first string notes. Starting on the sixth string, we have the open, then third fret with the middle finger. Strings five, four, and three are open two with the index finger. The second string is open, third fret with the middle finger. First string is open, third fret with the middle finger. The second string open is a higher octave B note. Third fret is D. First string open is a higher octave E note. And the third fret gives us another G note. Now we are going to combine scale notes and chords to create rhythm and lead. The first half of our E rhythm is the same. For the lead, we use part of our E minor pentatonic scale, starting on the fifth string open, which is an A note, and walk up to E. A, B, D, E. The timing is a little faster for the lead because we're playing eighth notes. So the count is one and two and. When we put the two parts together, we have one and, and two, three, four, one and two and three, four. Move everything down for the A rhythm. And for the A lead, start the scale on the fourth string D and walk up to A. That's D, E, G, A. Back to the E rhythm.
For the turnaround, play the same B rhythm, and for the lead, we'll start on the second string open B and walk up to G. B, D, E, G. Back to the E rhythm. But for the lead, we'll walk up from the open sixth string low E to the B note. E, G, A, B. Notice how each lead guitar part includes a matching note for each rhythm part. We start with an E rhythm, and for the lead, we walk up to an E. For A, we walk up to an A note. For B, we turn the song around by first walking down to B. And for the lead, we start on a B and walk up to other notes in the same scale. Quick E rhythm and a walk up to B. The whole progression allows us to make use of the full E minor pentatonic scale. Add vibrato to give your fretted notes more life. While holding a fretted note, rotate your wrist. You can use slow vibrato or fast vibrato. The key is to keep pressure on the note that you're holding. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now let's take all of the two finger blues sections that we've learned and combine them to make our second blues song. We'll start out with the basic parts and build up to the rhythm and lead with vibrato. Remember, you can access the full sheet music arrangement to each song in the bonus stills section. Also, each song is recorded at slow, medium, and fast speeds. If the version I play for you here is too slow, visit the practice section in the main menu and work up to the medium and fast tempo.
Every guitar chord has different variations. We've been using power chords like the E5 chord. Mark Stern on guitar, Eddie Perry on drums.